Are we rolling? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I've always felt conflicted about my identity as a Native American, not because I don't want to be Native American, but because I always felt like I wasn't Native enough. It's true, I'm a member of the Paula Band of Mission Indians, a Southern California-based tribe that are descendants of the Luceno and Capeno people. And I'm really proud of that. And I'm really close to my tribe. I've known that I was Native since I was very young. I have family that lives on the reservation. I have family that's involved in uh, the daily business of the tribe. But the truth is, I don't know our language. I don't know our, our traditions. Um, I didn't grow up on the reservation. And it wasn't until I learned more that I discovered that that was a deliberate action. That was a choice that I didn't make. Years and years of colonialism and actions taken uh, by settlers that came over here to the United States were deliberate in trying to root out Native Americans, to root out our culture, our traditions, and our language. And so I think it's so important, especially in light of Native American Heritage Month, to bring forth stories about Native Americans that are compelling, that demonstrate how much we've really contributed to this country, despite some of the awful, awful history that we've endured. So that's what I'm gonna do for you today. We're gonna talk about all the great things that Native Americans have contributed to our country, and we're gonna make a delicious cornbread casserole. It's so good, I'm really excited, and I think that your families are really gonna enjoy it this holiday season. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna stem about a half a tablespoon of fresh thyme. While I'm stemming my thyme, did you know that the United States government was actually adopted from Native Americans? That's right. Benjamin Franklin said that the idea for a centralized federal government, while leaving some powers reserved from the states, was actually adopted after the Iroquois League of Nations. Yes, go natives, right? Go ahead and add a half a stick of salted butter with your thyme. And we're just gonna go ahead and melt this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. My butter is melted and I have all the ingredients we're gonna need for this recipe. But you know, I gotta hit you with another fact first. Did you know that Native Americans were the first to grow pumpkins, potatoes, peanuts, melons, corn, hello? And did you know that we Native Americans taught European settlers how to survive when they came over by teaching them our farming techniques? You're welcome. So why don't we go ahead and move into mixing these ingredients together. One box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Our butter and thyme mixture. One can of corn kernels. One can of creamed corn. And one cup of sour cream. Hashtag whiskin! It's whisking time. And it's a really good time for me to share another fact while I do this. Did you know that Native Americans invented rubber? I didn't even know that. They invented rubber and then Columbus, Columbus, took that back to Europe and then they started developing it over there, calling it theirs. Typical, typical Columbus behavior. Okay, so I'm just mixing this up. And then I'm gonna pour into my eight by eight glass pan, as you can see that I have right here. Let me just give it a nice little whirlsk. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and bake our cornbread casserole at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes or until golden brown. Oh, but did you know that the Inuit in the Arctic invented the kayak and they built them out of whalebone or wood and then covered them in seal skin or other animal hides? And this is like hundreds of years ago. We're amazing, I love being native. Okay, the cornbread is baking and it looks really good. Isn't it cute that we're making like a cute little cornbread on a Native American episode? It's cute. Thanks for the corn natives. Okay, while it bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make the delicious honey glaze that's gonna go on top, but first, did you know that the Incas of South America developed cable suspension bridges? They wove together mountain grasses and other vegetation, sometimes as thick as a human body, and suspended these bridges over these huge gorges. And we use that kind of technology in today's cable bridges, like the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Like 
that's incredible, right? I mean, this is like centuries ago and they're making these bridges. We're amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and make this honey butter. I have a quarter cup of my salted butter here. I have a half of a tablespoon of powdered sugar. We're just gonna go ahead and pop that in. And then we're gonna do a tablespoon of honey. I have just like some raw unfiltered honey, the good stuff, the expensive stuff actually. We're just gonna go ahead and do, like I said, a tablespoon. Okay, that's good. We'll let that go in there. That's gonna like take a second to come out. Come on. I'm just gonna do a pinch of nutmeg. That'll probably do. We're gonna go ahead and mix this up just with the fork here. My butter is a little bit soft already. And while I'm doing this, what a great moment to share fact number six with you. <laughs> um, okay, so did you know, did you know that Native Americans developed, pioneered actually, all different kinds of medicines, anesthetics, topical pain relief, and they did it all from different kinds of plants. They also made a needle, like a, you know, like a syringe out of animal bladders and hollow bird bones. How crazy is that? It's amazing, I can't believe that. Okay, so the butter is looking really good and it smells really good. I think we're going to, let me just give it a good mix here. And you can see that it's just butter mixed with honey and sugar and a little nutmeg. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on our cornbread, which I think is almost done. So let's go ahead and take a look. We did it, our cornbread casserole is done and it looks really good. I went ahead and just topped with a little bit of our honey butter. I added a little extra honey and then garnished with some thyme. It looks really good and I'm dying to try it. But before I do, thanks so much for joining us here on The Sugar Treatment where we bake and heal together. My name's Anthony, AKA The Baking Social Worker. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and please comment below. Let me know how yours turned out. I'm also gonna leave some resources in the description below in honor of Native American Heritage Month. So make sure that you Check those out. Okay, I think it's time to go ahead and try this. I've got a fork right here. I'm definitely gonna try it. And you forgot to and say, make sure that you email him and let him know what you want him to talk about at the sugar treatment oh. at gmail.com. What would I do with that? You yeah. that. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. Keep it sweet. <laughs>